What's up everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel, you should definitely subscribe. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch, and it's always appreciated. Today we're doing a review of a brand new set from Lego Super Mario. It is the latest direct-to-consumer set for 2024. It is the Super Mario World Mario and Yoshi set. Jackson? Oh, there it is. Tell us about the box. Well, it's 18 plus. The item number is 71438, and it's 1,215 pieces. Cool. So I've been a big fan of the direct-to-consumer sets we've had the last several years. Um, we have a shelf over here that I'll show you in the video. We got the uh, NES, we got the Question Block, we got the Big Bowser, and we got the Piranha Plant. Which? Now, I was a little bit let down with the Piranha Plant last year. It was a smaller set. The What's Piranha up? Plant was last year? That was last year's direct-to-consumer set, yeah. So it was a smaller set, not as cool as some of the other ones. Oh, look, it's Brindley. Brindley decided to join us. Hi, Brindley. Brindley loves Mario, right? Uh, <laughs> so this is the latest of that great run of sets, and this one is very uh, unique. It's a lot different than anything we've ever seen before. A lot of people were quite surprised by it. I think it's pretty cool. Here's the box, just an 18 plus box with a black box art. It has a blue hue going on behind him. Um, I love how he's pixelated. He looks very much like you saw him in the Super Nintendo uh, video game. You guys played Super Mario World? Mm-hmm. For the Super Nintendo? Upstairs on the... Yeah, very good game. One of the best ever. On the back of the box, it just shows you some of the features. It shows you how Yoshi can run, how he can stick out his tongue. It gives you the dimensions. He is 10 inches wide by about 15 and a half inches tall. Um, and then again, just shows you some more uh, images of how he can run and, and do his thing. So very, very cool. Let's uh, bust open the box and check out the instruction book. The instruction book comes in a handy dandy case. It is just one instruction book, kind of plain. It has a white background. Um, just gives you two different images of the set. There with Yoshi's mouth open, there with his clip mouth closed. Um, we open it up, has the gray background, no progress bar. Um, this was very technic oriented. So if you don't like technic, you're probably not gonna like this set. Um, it was technical, and then there were a lot of little tiny pieces to make up the front image um, of the pixels. But here we have some images from the game. You can see very, very similar to what we see in the game is what we see in the set. Um, so a few tidbits of information there. You can read those at your leisure. Uh, but yeah, very cool instruction book. Now this set was a lot of fun. It was really cool watching it come together um, as the set just kind of came alive as you built it. You saw more and more of the picture just starting to grow as you as yeah. you built the set. I thought it was a lot of fun. I built it in what, a day and a half? Yeah. Like two days. Like two days, but a little bit here, a little bit there. So. I thought it was a lot of fun, cool set. So let's go ahead and check out the set. All right, so to give you a close up view of the Mario and Yoshi set, you can see it is very pixelated. There were tons and tons of little tiles here on the front. Um, it's not the same on the back. You know, you have all the small pieces on the front. It's mostly Technic and whatnot on the back, um, but it is very cool how he moves. I don't know if I can move far back enough to, there you go. So his arm moves there, Yoshi's arm. Um, both of his feet move back and forth. Obviously, his head kind of moves forward and back. The cape moves, which is very cool. And then there are two different depths to the land here, so he kind of runs in between. And then, of course, when he sticks out his tongue, he just turns the dial, and there you go. His tongue sticks out. His nose kind of lifts up, and the tongue moves out. Very awesome. And he's pixelated just like the show, you know? He, he's not supposed to be highly detailed because he's supposed to look like he does on the video game. Uh, but yeah, he's running in between the two levels of grass, which I really like how they did the two different colors and the two different depths. And then there are different depths, levels to the actual set of itself, which actually gives it kind of a, almost a three-dimensional look as well. Um, if we turn around to the back, you can kind of see all the mechanical features. Um, like I said, there's quite a bit of Technic here. There's um, a rubber band. There's a few of these pieces that kind of hold it all together um, but you can kind of see how it works from the back as you turn the dial which is actually awesome it's very cool how they figured this all out i'm not really sure who did that and took the time but somebody it's pretty ingenious being able to figure that all out so you can see there's all the technic kind of bits in there and uh very awesome Big fan of that. Um, on the bottom, there's also these uh, little rubber tire pieces. I don't want to break it, but there's little rubber tire pieces there, so he won't slide. So he's actually kind of hard to slide. Um, and then you can see he has um, this piece where I think you can actually put the Mario um, from the other sets, and he will interact with that little barcode there. 
So there you go. There's kind of a close-up look of it. I think it's very awesome. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And this is, of course, is not where he's going to end up because I did order another shelf. But just to show you what he looks like with all those other direct-to-consumer uh, larger Lego Mario sets, you have the NES, the Piranha Plant, the Question Block, and Bowser. Uh, you see he just kind of fits right in right there. And I think he'll look really good once I get that other shelf and kind of rearrange him a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I think he fits in nicely and will look very good on display. All right, so there it is, the Mario and Yoshi set. Now, like I just mentioned, there are a ton of cool little details and features that we just kind of went over, but uh, Brindley wants to show you how it all works. It's a lot of fun to play with, right? Yeah. And of course he runs, as we just showed you yep. when we were breaking it down there up close. Yoshi! So yeah, a lot of moving Yoshi! parts. Now from this side, it looks amazing. I've heard a lot of criticism about the back of the set though. Um, as we just mentioned as well, um, the back of the set doesn't look as great. That's probably my con. They could have spruced this up a little bit, but this is a display piece. It's not really meant to be seen from the back. And it was very technical, although I'm t typically not a huge fan of Technic sets myself. This one, like I said, is just was a ton of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, Jackson, what are some of the things you like about Yoshi and Mario? Um, well, all the moving parts, like, uh, I mean, everybody who's bought this set has said, um, <clears throat> and just how it's it's so realistic and it actually looks like from the game because I remember playing the game. Yeah, all the movements are very, very uh, reminiscent of what you see in the game. And there's yeah. so many moving parts, like the engineering that went on behind the scenes in creating this set was absolutely mind-blowing, honestly. So, How about you, Brindley? What do you like? Um, I like all the moving parts the same as Jackson. Just kind of making him run. Uh -huh. Now he does look a little bit better from further away. Obviously, you get up close, you see all the pickle, pi pickles. 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 <laughs> I love pickles. You get up close, you see all the pixels. Um, you know, he may not look as good, but from afar, he looks amazing. He's gonna look great on display. Um, I've already ordered another shelf, so we can add him to our Mario display over there. Um, mm -hmm. They'll be here in just a couple of days. I also ordered another shelf for the 66 Batmobile, so we can add that to our Batman display. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I'm very happy with this set. Now, the set is over 1,200 pieces, and it costs $129. Now, that's a little bit over 10 cents a piece for um, you know Mario Super Nintendo licensed set. I don't think it's that bad. Um, there were a lot of little pieces. You know, you have all these little tiles um, that make up all the details here on the front. Uh, so obviously, it's a little bit expensive, maybe a little bit overpriced, but I think it's well worth it. And I think it makes an awesome addition to the direct-to-consumer Mario Lego lineup. Is there anything you guys don't like about this one? Um, like you um, said, the back. The back, yeah. Kind of ugly. Like, um, I wish, like, these were at least, like, these colors. And I wish the bottom would move. So yeah. it looked like it was all moving. You wish it moved even more. That would be mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, well. If they made more. it, like, the... Mm. Uh, TV, like the ground. Yeah. That would be I don't cool. know. I feel like they keep surprising us with these sets. Like, there's no guessing, you know, what they're going to come out with next. Um, the NES system with the TV was very unique and awesome. I think the question block took everybody by surprise. I think this is another one similar to the question block where nobody knew what to expect, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with the finished product. Um, and like I said, I think it's going to look awesome on display. 129 yeah. bucks. You guys buying this one? Yeah. Brindley? Yep. Yeah. Brindley? Yeah. You gonna buy it? If I give you 130 bucks? Yeah, I would buy that. Heck yeah. I probably have enough. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it too, and I already did. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's pretty great, and I definitely would recommend this set to anyone who's a big fan of Mario. It's very nostalgic, it's very cool. It does have a little uh, block here too, which we mentioned in the review as well. Um, we haven't tried that out, but we need to. So, there's mean? an additional the feature. So, that? it's gonna interact, yeah, it does. It's gonna interact with the Mario. Uh, sets, you know the big Mario's that oh, jump on them. Oh yeah. We haven't done it yet. We'll have to see what it does. Probably should have included that in the review. Oh well. All right, so there it is, Super Mario and Yoshi, the latest from Lego Nintendo. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep, keep on, on building. building.